Adjust your speaker volume now. During this video, we'll show you how to use Landscape to create a new order. Keep in mind that the Landscape system is a Windows 7 touchscreen operation and you can use your finger to touch the 22 inch touchscreen monitor that comes with Landscape. You go to the Create Order button and select it. Enter first name, last name of your customer. Enter a phone number, email address, street address, city, state, and zip code. When your data is entered, double check it and enter next in the lower right corner of the screen. At this point you select your priority of processing whether it's standard or express and whether or not you want to have image intelligence or I2 autocorrect turned on or off. Also select red eye reduction for your order. Once done there, click the Next button, and you'll be prompted to enter what products are being made. Now in this instance, we're going to select Standard Prints for the whole order. From our product catalog, we're going to select Standard 4x6 Prints and a luster surface. The crop is fill in and one copy per image. Once finished with those selections, we're going to select the Next button. At the next screen, you're prompted to select files for the products from media. And in this case, we're going to select images from a camera card, which is loaded in the card reader on the landscape system. We're going to navigate to the image folder on the card and we're going to say, in this case, select all and add. You'll notice the images are now added to our order. We're going to select the next button. At the create new order product selection, you'll notice files are loaded. You're given a message saying finish loading from the drive you've used and now you can remove the media. Select OK to proceed and select the Next button. In the screen that follows, Create New Order, you choose any order level products that you would like to add to the order. That is, index prints of various sizes, archive CDs, index CDs, premium CDs, or premium DVDs. Select the Next button, and on the order summary page, you get information on what your order consists of. And in this case, it's 28 files, 4x6 prints, luster surface, and you have the opportunity to delete that order and go back and correct any mistakes. You're given the opportunity to select process right away, edit the files, hold the files. In the case of edit, it allows you to stay in the job and edit the images and products in the order. If you select hold, the order is placed on hold for further editing or processing. When you're finished there, you click the complete button. You'll now be returned to the home screen in Landscape and from the orders in process bar, you'll see that your files are being received. Once all the files are received, You'll notice that the order has been placed on hold. When we placed the order, it was our intention to go back into the order and take a look at the order to see if it needed corrections. 
let's take a quick look at how you can get into view the order by clicking the view button and in the upper left of the job user interface click on products in this order to see the order that's been placed. You'll notice you have 4x6 prints all set up ready to go and if you'd like to at this point to select all and turn image intelligence I2 on prior to releasing the order this is the time you can do it. When you click the I2 button you'll notice an I2 icon appears in the upper right hand corner of all your selected prints. To process the order from inside the job immediately you can go to the upper left corner of the job user interface and click on process order. That'll start the order to go to the printer. Clicking yes to process order returns you back to the landscape user interface. You'll notice that the job turns to queued where it previously said hold. If you'd like to turn it into an express order that is process immediately you can click on the express icon. Once the order starts printing you'll notice the icon over on the right hand side of the screen says working and at this point the job will proceed to your printer. Once the job is complete the working bar shown on the right hand side of in process orders will be dismissed from in process orders. That concludes our section on creating a new order.